Biafra friends, men and women of goodwill and of good conscience, this is the Biafra Life presentation on this morning of the 16th of February 2019. We are live from London and reaching you wherever I on this planet Earth from east to west, from north to south, from the upland and for the coastal regions of Biafra land to this yet our restoration and redemption. We are gathering in the name of the Most High God, Tukuo Kikehe, who sees in the secret and the open the mighty one in battle. We ask him, as always, to continue to live up to his promises to his people, the people of Biafra, to continue to envelop us with his presence, to go before us, to go beside us, to go behind us, to continue to incapacitate and render powerless and important our enemies. More importantly, to continue to set confusion into their midst, that they shall continue to speak with hostile, antithetical, divergent degrees among themselves, that they will never agree. May their evil plot against us turn against them and smash them and destroy them in the process. May he destroy those who want to destroy us, who want to bring down this platform who have been plotting day planning day in day out night in night out to ridicule the process of this ultimate restoration of the land of biafra we in turn ask him to remember his promises to our ancestors to all of us by extension presentation of biafrans that he shall restore our lost inheritance the land of Biafra to all of us. We are all witnesses to what is happening in the contraption called Nigeria, and we told them so. But some detractors in Biafra land and different parts came up with all manner of claims. And for us to demonstrate that we are Democrats, that we are not autocrats, we made very simple demands from them. And they have essentially responded to that and we are living up to our own part of the obligation the most high god will bear us witness may he destroy us if we are out here to indeed deceive the people of biafra but if our hands are clean may he bless us may he prepare us even further May he enable us with strength and courage, spiritually and physically, to continue to do exploits. And may all of them who are lying against us never see the light of the day. May he destroy all of them. We ask you, the Most High God, to make this permanent in our lives and in their lives. That the rest of humanity will see your blessings upon our lives in the end and continue to glorify your holy name and even our enemies will be in all of your name to this we say a man and a man and a man and a man he say he say he say my name is Peter Mephor. I am the deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafra from Abatete Abatete is in Omambar Omambar is in Biafra I am here in a representative capacity standing in for a great democracy now the colonel make sure that everything is in order the heart of this project we continue to pledge to you will never be allowed to see corruption and the gate of fire shall never prevail against it the implication of this statement is huge it is detailed it is complex, it is pregnant with a lot of meanings, and only those with spiritual eyes will understand and appreciate what it is. Regardless of what naysayers are of course up to, we are here to make sure that the interests of the people of Biafra are protected. That is what we are doing here. And no matter how long it takes, we have not pre pre pretended that the road might be convoluted and complex and as long as as long as we are tenacious 
and resilient, we shall emerge victorious in the end. Our tenacity, our commitment, our sincerity, our uprightness, even in the face of danger and intimidation, have been responsible for what has propelled us forward this far. But our enemies, some unscrupulous individuals, some very greedy, filthy, and dishonorable men and women in Biafra land who have soiled their hands and sold their own people for peanuts and who are of course criminally minded think that we are the same like them. That is why they are calling in Nam the Kanu and all the false frosters and scammers. But in the end, we shall know who and who are scammers. We told you that the zoo called Nigeria and her electoral system are fraud. And we will not freely give ourselves away anymore to participate in the process. That is why our leader, Mazin Nam De Kanu, made important principle bold step making sure that we don't negotiate the wishes of our people away on a plateau of gold we say we are boycotting presidential election of the contraption called nigeria today being the 16th of february 2019 a lot of people went on rampage when we talk about pdp they say that APC is supporting IPOB. When we talk about APC, they say that PDP is now in partnership with IPOB. And we are here to say that we are now used to all these blackmails and intimidation. And we are very much determined because we have the mind of our own to drive home this audacious presentation of Biafra to its logical conclusion. This morning, I am not going to say much, but I want to point to certain issues of relevance that go to the very heart of the very essence of what we are doing. There are some individuals, even within IPOB family, some of them call themselves writers, some of them are self-proclaimed advocates. They went about writing nonsense without clarification. If you don't know what you are writing about or what you are going to say, simply shut up. Nobody has given you any authorization to speak on behalf of Nam De Kanu or to appeal on his behalf. He is still alive. He is capable, he is active. And if not for anything, there are people whom he has authorized to speak on his behalf. And you must stop this intransigence. Very important. There are some people who call themselves writers. They go about writing nonsense, talking about what they don't know. I will be very point point of I will be very straightforward. Anybody who is appealing to purported Biafran family members who are under the platform of IPOP trying to explain away the implication or what now they can meant must pull all those posts down. Now the Kano has been faithful, now the Kano has been tenacious, now the Kano has been focused and has indeed at any particular point in time informed IPOB family members what he is doing. And more importantly, as regards this already rigged for the election of the zoo called Nigeria, he has been very open, he has been very forthright, he has indeed not made
mockery of the enormity of the task ahead for all of us. He has not indeed demonstrated that he's under any illusion that our people need direction. And he has carried everybody along. Therefore, if anybody is tired of this respiration effort, let that person chicken out. Very important. And I will go ahead to, of course, present very simple and logical evidence of what Nam Dukalon has said to our people regarding this boycott of election and the condition under which it must be called off. It is therefore ingenious. It is therefore unscrupulous. It is therefore very wicked of anybody to suggest that, oh, Nam Dukalon has not carried us along. Oh, he has betrayed us. Oh, he has done this, he has done that. There are some groups on, in WhatsApp, on WhatsApp platform, talking nonsense. We enjoin all principal officers of this hallowed platform to indeed go very hard on anybody who is writing nonsense about the broadcast of our leader Mazin Namdekan, the explanations that he has given regarding the calling off of the boycott of this election if anybody is in doubt let them go and read the press statement let them go and listen to the broadcast of our leader Mazin Nam the Colonel regarding this let them go and listen to the broadcast we made yesterday we came up with yesterday if after that you are not yet satisfied, then you are not indeed meant for this platform. We are, of course, not unaware of the fact that there are some individuals and groups who are obviously tired or who are not on the, uh, from this platform. We made mention and we were very pointed or pointed yesterday that there are infiltrators on this platform. Members of the DSS of the zoo called Nigeria are pretending also to be members of IPOB. They also have their agents who are, of course, doing everything we are doing. Some of them do even more than we do. But they are out there to get information. We want to remind each and every one of us our commitment to this position effort. It is better that we chicken out when we know that we are not in position to do anything that is expected of us than to stay on this platform and be ridiculing ourselves. Now the colonel's hands are clean. All of us are of the know of the circumstance and situation we are in. And IPOB, I can assure you, we always vindicate ourselves. Just now what is going on here in the contraption called Nigeria, with reference to the already rigged election that they are trying to present to the world. We want to unequivocally reiterate that we have called off the boycott of this already read presidential election of the contraption called Nigeria based on the very simple reason that a number of demands were made on behalf of IPOP and our leader Mazin Namdekan made it clear that any day, any time they accede and sign those documents sent to them that he will come on radio Biafra and call off the boycott. Nobody questioned that. Nobody bothered to ask what that means or that meant, even within IPOB family. Then when he 
he made that broadcast he made that at least on three occasions in his broadcast he made reference to it and nobody questioned what he was saying nobody thought bothered to ask him the implications of what he was saying everybody was saying hailing him and all that and when he dutifully conscientiously and sincerely followed the step that we have set up for ourselves some individuals began to ask unnecessary questions some are even saying let us see the document and all that and we are telling you that you will not see that document because it's not appropriate at the appropriate time that document will be made public where necessary we want to honor our own part of our commitment to the confidentiality regarding the signing of that document and we owe nobody any apology very important there is no point anybody on this platform trying to appeal to anyone regarding what has transpired and what our leader has done because everybody is supposed to be on the know if you are not very much appreciative or under uh, if you are not yet very much understanding what has been done go and ask questions rather than considering yourself as a, a nuisance in this path the approach of appealing to the consciences of whoever on this platform is not very proper and should be discontinued very important if you are tired you chicken out but at the end of the day you'll be ashamed of yourself because on no occasion have we taken a decision to negotiate away the conscience of our people if that would have been done it would have been if that was to be done it would have been Akuje prison where our leader Mazen Nam the Kano is if he could not do that under pressure how much more now that he's outside our people must reason our people must be very very collected our people must be focused especially on this trying period but of course we are making headway and we are coasting home with victory at the end of the day we told them that the zoo presidential election will be rigged and just a few days to the date today d-day there were news of interception of already on print ballot papers and it was in the public glare nobody can doubt that we told them that we are not participating in this election because the system itself is so corrupt and so inimically designed to hold our people down. Even our people went against what we were saying. We made a number of presentations. We advanced a number of cogent and verifiable reasons. And presented facts why we are not going to participate there are a lot of people who were not very well receiving it pressure from everywhere and all that and our people are in the know of it and we have told them and that was what we did if you know that we are going to call off this boycott we have set up demands from you we have forwarded to you procedural guidelines sign the document we have given to you and then we call up this election uh, boycott of this election and on Thursday that demand or those demands were responded to Albert positively and our leader came on air and made an announcement and then people started saying all manner of things we want to tell you 
want to remind you that the people who are championing all this are people from APC or people from PDP. APC want the boycott to go ahead so that they will be able to claim victory. PDP does not or do not want this boycott to go ahead because some people reasoned that it will be a kind of entrenchment of already horrible dictatorial administration that has been holding our people down. And so our leader Mazenam the Kano intelligently went forward to say that he is neither for this, is neither for that, we are not supporting anybody. But that there is a document in circulation among all of you who are making all these demands. Sign those documents and we do the needful. Otherwise we go ahead with the boycott of the election. It's very clear nobody is in doubt as to our intention. And therefore, we are vindicated all the way. Just yesterday night at the 11th Tower, the INEC, Independent National Electoral Commission of the Contraption called Nigeria, called off their own election. They postponed this election for about a week, I think on 20, 23rd of February, the presidential election. And then the other one is on either 2nd of March or thereabout, first week of March. Nobody has cried. Nobody has gone against INEC. Nobody has considered themselves into, into, uh, into nuisance. The social network platform is very, very calm. The airwaves are not as robust as expected. But because it is IPOB, when it is IPOB that make any move, I'll bet for the interest of our people, you will see some unscrupulous idiots even those who have been selling their people for their own selfish interests will rise up and call IPOB scam. Now they can run away and all that. We are laughing at them. We are laughing at them. What are we saying here? INEC has postponed the elections. What are you going to do? It is all the way victory for IPOB because we told them that this is going to happen and they indeed kicked against it. Rather, they sponsored attacks against all of us. And we repeat, for us to make sure that everything we want is in place, we put a number of demands across to them and we told them to go ahead and prove their metal if they are actually interested that this boycott will be called off to sign those documents they signed it for those who are going about saying give us the document give, give us the document a very simple challenge is this let any politician from the zoo called Nigeria come out and deny that there is no such document sent across to them. Let them come out and deny it. Then at that time, you will know that IPOB is lying. That the Nam Dekanu has betrayed you. That the Nam Dekanu has indeed sold out. Other than that, all of you saying this should be ashamed of yourselves. And we advise you to ad indeed advise yourselves accordingly. We want our people to be focused. We want our people to be resolute. We want our people to know that they are 
in best hands and very safe rightly too and rightly too very safe this is radio bfl presentation we are moving forward most high god remains in charge we are going to of course remind you of what our leader Mazin Amdekan said to all of us in some of his broadcasts and we are not making any we are disrupted here we will have to move forward we are not missing words here we will be back in a minute passing through in Nigeria is unacceptable, then we must boycott the presidential elections on the 16th of February. The whole world is watching, and for those who may argue that our boycott will return to build power, should be guided by our simple demand. If you want us to vote, then you must address the conditions we have set out before you. All of you, it's not possible. What makes you think that I, Namdekan, will ask this very wonderful army of heaven, IPOB, to vote in 2019 with nothing? I gave them my conditions. If they don't accede to my demands, I'll publish on Friday. That the world may know what we're asking for. If they sign it, then I'll call off the boycott. If they don't sign it, we proceed full steam ahead. Because our priority is Biafra, nothing more, nothing less. I'm not asking for anything else in life. All I want to see is Biafra. After that, then I can die. Okay. Our determination to boycott the general elections on the 16th of February is sacrosanct. And as I said before, and I will continue to say it, if our demands are met, I will come on Radio Biafra and tell the whole world about it. As simple as that. If not, we'll boycott. If our demands are met, I will come on Radio Biafra and tell the whole world about it. As simple as that. If not, we'll boycott. They wanted our activities to be controlled by politicians, but I said no. That's why they are cussing all over the place. He doesn't keep the agreement. Yes, I don't. Because you cannot control IPOB. I'm begging. Who are you? Do you know what IPOB stands for? Do you know what IPOB is? Around the whole world? They cannot control us. Their friends must understand what we are facing on a daily basis and should be prepared to follow instructions as given. One after the other. Here in IPOB, you do what you are told to do and you will see the positive results in less than no time. Do you know what it means for a whole country to plan an operation nationwide because of a group of people? That is how strong IPOB is. Some of you don't know this. We are the only people they are afraid of. Only IPOB is no other human being. And you have heard the voice of our leader, Mazin Nandikan. And for sake of emphasis, I'm going to repeat it. And this is for the purposes of those who are murmuring, those who are, of course, looking for exit routes. We want to remind you that Nandikan has been faithful, now the canon has been very tenacious, now the canon has been carrying all of you along. If you are tired, chicken out. We are in another phase in this struggle. Your future is guaranteed. Your future is safe in the hands of the leadership of IPOB. There is no apologies to render that. You should be grateful. You yourself complaining should be very grateful. That Nam De Kano has not sold out. Rather, he has indeed secured your future and a future you should be proud of. And not only your own future, the future of your children and generations of your fans to come. So it is very condescending for anybody on this platform to begin to right to appeal to people who are of course lacking understanding people don't listen people don't follow instruction and it is their business if they go astray all we have said here is that 
the future of the people of Biafra and more important that of IPOB is secured. If anybody disappoints us, we will publish what we have with them. And the rest are showed that the calling off of the boycott of the already rigged presidential election of the zoo called Nigeria does not in any way affect the activities of IPOB. Our family meetings continue, our activities continue, everything we do is in full steam. So let nobody be under any illusion that we are more than ever before strengthened and in a more vantage position to do more exploits. If you are confused, go and seek advice. But if you think that you can consider yourself as an obstacle, we treat you as a miscreant or saboteur you are. Very important. We are not missing words here. Every effort has been made. I myself have not slept. My eyes are heavy. I'm still in the studio here. And we will make sure that everything is in order. And I can assure you that so far so good, IPOB is vindicated. If you look around what is happening in the contraption called Nigeria, you will understand that we are very much resolute and we are unstoppable. The commitment to this resolution effort is unassailable and no individual or group can stop it. I feel sorry for those who are yapping, those calling the name the Kanu is Kama and all that. We don't even need to mention their names. But it is very, very ridiculous that filthy, unscrupulous, very dishonorable individuals should be making reference to Namdi Kano. Do you know who Namdi Kano is? Do you know what IPOB is all about? You don't have the integrity. That is very strong and quality enough to challenge IPOB. People have come and done certain things before us. They betrayed their people. They failed to live up to expectation when the ovation was loudest. They had opportunity to negotiate a very bright and solid and prosperous future for their own people. They sold it. They took money and enriched themselves while those around them are living in poverty. The evidence is clear. If you look around you, you will see it. And I'm able to say that such group of people cannot challenge me. Such group of people have not what it takes, integrity-wise, to compare what we have done on this platform. Any day that I'm tired, I will check it out. Very important. And if anybody thinks that he can do what we are doing here, let that person step forward. Very important. You need to prove yourself. What are we saying here? Our comments, our positions, our submissions are meant for our collective good. Let us join hands together to make this all-important resolution effort a worldwide one. I will want to explain what I have said, what I said yesterday in the broadcast. When we began to call for boycott of elections in the contraption called Nigeria. Some people indeed took it for granted. We said that we are not going to vote in the zoo election until the date for the referendum is given to us. And until our demands are met, people decided to take advantage of it. I don't know whether anybody is trying to broadcast on this platform as well. I have no idea. And it is the responsibility of our broadcaster to understand what is going on. If you are trying to do something on this platform, please dissociate yourselves. And we have to continue and we have to, of course, remain focused so that we don't allow distraction on this platform. It is very important that we respond to our people who are saying that our app is not working and indeed it is true. 
initially our app was not working but i want our people to at this particular point in time confirm whether it is working we will repeat this broadcast for the benefit of everyone who has not been able to listen to us as i was saying when we call for the boycott of election for obvious reasons that our people have been perpetually put under unimaginable hardship, slavery, and servitude, and that as we speak, the system in which we are working and in which they make us to believe that it is for our future is inimically designed to hold us down. People took the advantage of the fact that we applied non-violent method of restoration of the land of Biafra. They embarked on hormonal propaganda. We told people not to go for registration. They now came up with alternative platform, or rather alternative method, very crude method. They began to force our people in churches, in their places of works, in the banks, and every other avenue they think that they will get, a, get to our people. They made it abundantly clear and designed a picture or a modality through which they will be able to molest our people. Do you know that in the whole of Biafra land, they embarked on checking on people who don't have PVCs? If you don't have a PVC, automatically you are an IPOB family member and you'll be singled out for all manner of mistreatment and punishment. If what I'm saying is a lie, tell me. Come up and challenge us. A number of our people came and complained about it. That our people are being made forced to register for this election and to collect their PVCs, otherwise they'll be denied of anything that they are entitled to. And when we found out that they are actually using this against us and it is going to work against us, we advise our people who came forward to complain to go ahead and get that PVC, but to keep it as well. Get that PVC if they force you to get it. If you are forced to get PVC when you go to transact in a bank, get the PVC and keep it. If you are forced at your workplace to get PVC, go ahead and get it and keep it. That would be our option B. And this is what several number of IPB family members have done. They thought that they are smart. We told them that we will use this means to also infiltrate the system that the zoo is using against us. Our official position had been that we are not going to participate in any further presidential election of the contraption called Nigeria. And they used another means to force our people to enroll in the system. And because we are forward thinking, we said, okay, we're not going to make noise about it. Go and get that PVC, but keep it. So let nobody come out to pontificate that IPOB family members do not have PVC. I can assure you that 80% of IPOB family members have PVC. And for those who are castigating IPOB, some of them say, what are they going to use to vote and all that? Are they going to use their driving license or what? And we say to these people, that your neighbor, whom you think you know, you actually don't know. The person near you, the person you see every day, it's an IPOB family member, especially if you are residing in Biafra land. The person you think you know very well, but of course you don't, is an IPOB family member. 
they have their PVCs. So on that front, nobody can teach us what we know very much better. There are also categories of IPOB family members who are not registered for obvious reasons. We know a certain number of them. Because of the work that they are doing, they are not registered as verified IPOB members. A number of them don't attend meetings, but they support what we are doing. We are in the know of all of them. How then can the zoo say, and this hopelessly hopeless Nigerian say that IPOB is not in charge of their future or that they don't have relevance? There are categories of other IPOB family members who have decided for their, for their entire lifetime not to be voting. They don't call anything voting or regard it as important. There are people who never voted throughout their own lifetime. And they are another category. Several so number of them are IPOB family members. And so let nobody complain that because of the order to boycott the zoo presidential election that a number of our people are disenfranchised. It is not true. There are people who have decided right from the outset that they are not going to vote. And there is something you can do about it. There are people who actually wanted to vote but because of the boycott order they decided not to go ahead but came behind the scenes to complain that they are being made to suffer unduly and we told them if you are forced to get this pvc in your workplace or in the churches that you go or before you transact business in any of the zoo banks in Biafaland, then go ahead and get it and keep quiet. How can these people now say that they are going to beat us? That is on the side of those who are arguing that IPOB do, uh, do not have PVC. Of course, that has not changed the fact that we don't have confidence in the electoral system in the zoo called Nigeria. But because they try to infiltrate us, they try to do all manner of things against us. We are also using that means as an option B to infiltrate the zoo called Nigeria. So let nobody come up and tell us or prove to us that he is smart because we are several steps ahead of them. And then coming to the kernel of calling off the boycott of this election, it is very simple. People are complaining that they have bought their uh, fish and uh, often sour uh, ingredients and all that. And that this boycott of election has thrown them into confusion. And we are saying to you, it has not. What the calling off of the boycott has done, in essence, is to give some people the opportunity, the people who actually want to participate, the opportunity to participate. Those of you who have made up your mind that you don't want to vote, it is your own choice to make. If you want to stay at home, that is your own decision. And so by implication, calling up this boycott, uh, boycotting of the presidential election has, we repeat, two explanations. It is only for the date that they are doing the presidential election of the contraption called Nigeria. And it is also serving to say, uh, serving a purpose that it is no longer an official IPOB position because our demands put forward 
has been responded to, and albeit positively. And what does this mean to individuals? It means that the decision for you to participate in the presidential election of the contraption called Nigeria is yours. The decision not to vote as well is yours. If you decide to go out and participate, that is a decision you have to take by yourself. If you decide not to go out to participate, also it is a decision you have to take by yourself. And so let nobody come up and say, oh, this has put him or her in an awkward position. No. More importantly, there is an instruction given to our uh, principal officers on the ground and we have to consolidate on that. As we speak, the zoo, INEC, has postponed this election or selection that they wanted to do today. But what we are taking away from it is that IPOB is all the way vindicated because we said it right from the outset that the election has already been rigged and within 48 hours of the D-Day, there were incidences of electoral malpractice, which is very clear and very well publicized. And the same thing is going to happen in the near future on 23rd of February 2019. Our impression, our view of the fraudulent system in the contraption called Nigeria has not changed. The only thing we have done is to lift the boycott order already placed to enable individuals and groups, especially in Biafra land, who want to participate regardless of all these reasons that we have given to go ahead and do so. On our part, it places us on a very good stead because it shows that we are not autocratic. It shows that we listen to people. It shows as well that we are democratic. But in the end, I can assure you we'll be vindicated. The only sure way that will bring about permanent solution is to stand against the system itself. That it may collapse and that a new system is built or that a new alliance or union is negotiated. Anything other than this will not take us anywhere and will not do anybody any good. The only people it will be serving are people who are looting and subjugating innocent, vulnerable civilian populations to servitude and slavery and, servit and, and, and slavery. And all manner of inhumane and degrading treatment that are subjecting people to. We stand to be corrected. Once again, we want to repeat that our leader, Mazin Namdekano, has been upright, has been forthright, has been very skillful, has been very much effective in carrying everybody along. If you are not carried along, then the problem is from you because you may have failed to listen to instruction. But it is not too late. Retrace your steps, go and read our press statement, go and listen to our leaders broadcast, listen to the broadcast of yesterday evening and you understand what we're saying. Also, listen to this broadcast we are, of course, on at the moment, are on on the moment, as you say, that you will acquaint yourselves of the important issues of our time. That you will acquaint yourself of the important issues of the moment. This will be a further presentation. We are moving forward. Most of God remains in charge. 
uh, we have to repeat what our leader Mazin Nandikano has said on different broadcasts for the purposes of those who are saying that in Nam they can did this in Nam they can did that. If anything it is not in Nam they can that betray you. You are the one betraying the struggle. And therefore retrace your steps if you are really genuine. More importantly have it at the back of your mind that all the people who are talking nonsense on Facebook and other media platforms are all zoo politicians and their agents. And therefore, they should be condemned to the dustbin of history. There are also individuals who are very envious, very wicked, very greedy, very jealous of the progress that IPOB has made. They criticize but they have failed to lead from the front as well. If you don't like what IPOB is doing, what you have to do is to go and galvanize people around a common cause that you want to fight for and let them follow you and make a difference as well because you are also human being. You say that IPOB is nothing, IPOB has no influence, IPOB is a bunch of criminals, but on each occasion for you to be heard for you to be made popular, you have to mention IPOB. Otherwise, you remain where you are. That's the truth about it. Brethren, you should be proud of whom you are. The world is talking about you. And you are being held at a very high esteem. Do not, indeed, disappoint. Now, join hands together to make sure that this audacious press position of Biafra is driven to a conclusion. Without a shred of doubt, we are entering into another phase. IPOB shall control the entire Biafra land politically and economically. And that time has come. We urge you to wait for instructions. Very important. This will be a further presentation on this day of the 16th of February 2019. We are live from London, reaching you wherever you are on this planet. I will be back in a minute. If you feel what we are passing through in Nigeria is unacceptable, then we must boycott the presidential elections on the 16th of February. The whole world is watching. And for those who may argue that our boycott will return to build to power, should be guided by our simple demand. If you want us to vote, then you must address the conditions we have set out before you. All of you, it's not sure. What makes you think that I, Namdekan, will ask this very wonderful army of heaven, IPOB, to vote in 2019 with nothing? I gave them my conditions. If they don't accede to my demands, I'll publish on Friday. That the world may know what we are asking for. If they sign it, then I'll call off the boycott. If they don't sign it, we'll proceed full steam ahead. Because our priority is Biafra, nothing more, nothing less. I'm not asking for anything else in life. All I want to see is Biafra. After that, then I can die. Our determination to boycott your elections on the 16th of February is sacrosanct. And as I said before, and I will continue to say it, if our demands are met, I will come on Radio Biafra and tell the whole world about it. As simple as that. If not, we'll boycott. If our demands are met, I will come on Radio Biafra and tell the whole world about it. As simple as that. If not, we'll boycott. They wanted our activities to be controlled by politicians, but I said no. That will, that's why they are gossiping all over the place. He doesn't keep the agreement. To, yes, I don't. Because you cannot control IPOB. I'm obeying. Who are you? Do you know what IPOB stands for? Do you know what IPOB is? Around the whole world, they cannot control us. Their friends must understand what we are facing on a daily basis and should be prepared to follow instructions as given. One after the other. Here in IPOB, you do what you are told to do and you will see the positive results in less than no time. Do you know what it means for a whole country to plan an operation nationwide because of a group?
group of people. That is how strong IPOB is. Some of you don't know this. We are the only people they are afraid of. Only IPOB is no other human being. And that was the broadcast by Adi Damazin and the Kanu on different editions that he addressed their fans regarding the boycott of the zoo presidential election. He made it abundantly clear that if they accede, if they sign the document he sent to them that he will come on Radio Biafra and announce it to the whole world. He also said that if they don't, if they don't sign that document, that he will publish it on Friday. And I tell you, on that Friday, those documents were looked at and, of course, signed. How do you then want the Namdekan to publish it? Has he not remained faithful to his words? Has he not remained faithful to IPOB? And to the people of Biafra, how is he a scam? Shame to those who have indeed betrayed their own people. And I ask you again, what prevents them they can from taking money and call your bluff after talking after all that is that it will be in the dustbin of history? But the man remained more than ever before focused and committed to the welfare of his own people. He made sure that the interests of their funds are put forward and that our demands are not in question. How else can you begin to qualify and to rationalize this kind of goodwill from a man who has every opportunity to scuttle this ambition. Let it be on record that since 1970, after the war, no group of people have been able to achieve or done what IPB has done. A number of them have come out to tell you that they have your interests at heart. They are representing you, but they are also rep they are actually representing their pockets. The same way. Some people who are calling them the Canoe Scammer had the opportunity to represent their people, but they chose to build their own economic empire for themselves and for their families and not for the interests of their own people. They have themselves to blame, not IPOP. Very important that our people understand what the issues are. This will be a follow presentation. We are moving forward. Most I God remains in charge. Order the general officer commanding and formations commanders in the southeast area of responsibility to immediately embark on a clampdown on the indigenous people of Biafra and their splinter groups. General Burota adds that there is credible information of subversive motives by some unpatriotic groups aided by foreign conspirators to scuttle the peaceful conduct of the 2019 general elections in some parts of the country. He explained that the army is working closely with the Nigeria police and other security agencies to ensure an enabling environment for the conduct of the election. We have information of subversive motives by some unpatriotic groups aided by foreign conspirators to scuttle the peaceful conduct of the 2019 general elections in some parts of the country. We hereby warn such detractors to immediately mend their ways. The Nigerian Army is working closely with the Nigerian police and other security agencies to ensure an enabling environment for the good citizens of our dear country to exercise their civic rights. However, the activities of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra and their splinter groups in the southeastern part of our country is gaining momentum as the group is threatening to disrupt the 2019 general elections. Their excesses must therefore be clamped down immediately. As you can see and as you can hear, uh, the 
evidence is there for everyone to see. Who is scuttling the zoo? Who is scuttling the zoo presidential election? Is it IPOB or Boratai? We can assure you that Boratai's army already thumbprint or thumbprinted ballot papers were under escursion by Boratai army. Political arm of Boko Haram APC masterminded it in northern part of the zoo called Nigeria. They opened Niger and Chad border. From with there we from where they'll be rigging the election. We told you ahead of time. They say that IPOB has concluded plan to disrupt election. We know that this is all these are all lies. Today we ask them why is the election postponed? Who is scuttling the election? And who was found with Tom printed PVC trailer loads of them. And who was awarded contract for card readers that they reprogrammed to accept fake ones? All these questions have to be answered by the zoo authorities, not IPOB. They have themselves to blame. IPOB is whiter than white. Our hands are clean. And we are moving full steam ahead. This is already be a far live presentation on this morning of the 16th of February 2019. On a day that because of IPOB, they decided to postpone the zoo presidential election. They are afraid. They are afraid. And we are telling them that they are being pursued by their own shadow. IPOB is formidable. IPOB is unstoppable. Have you heard of any other name that they are calling? It is all about IPOB. 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 You have to be very strong, very resolute, and very focused for victory is ours. Number to call is plus 447405 Zero five nine six four one four six. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Good morning from here. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Good day, Papa Mahaba. I want to tell you that uh, 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 our radio is speaking when you are talking about the prefunding, uh, whatever, uh, uh, what you, what you say that the Nigerian government has found for for us that make our leader to demand what he demand for us. So that our leader, our, our radio just shut down for Mahaba here uh, from two five minutes when you enter program. And I want to tell you that I have been listening that uh, the zoo government has postponed the, the election according to their, their media to so this person to turn it back in. And yes, I have we know. We know. My... Yes, go ahead. Uh, yeah, okay. We know about it. Uh, but I, I just want to say thank you, Chico Kikadiyama, for what Chico Kikadiyama has done for us. My deputy director, I want to tell you also that our radio, as I'm telling you, that it just stopped for this moment. That they had been speaking since all this while. Go, it just stopped for this moment. Go and check. Go and check again. I'm very sure there is nothing okay. wrong I, from I want this to thank platform. Chico check Kade. again. Um, okay. I want to thank you, Chico Kikadiyama, my deputy director. We are very, very happy for here. Everybody is rejoicing. The zoo have know that uh, we pass them. Uh, since it's all this while, they refuse not to believe that now, uh, after this responding, everybody is crying for even for you. Even the people who, who are urging us for their media to go and they vote, uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are crying for here now. Yes. And we will be for I, them because... I expect, because I expect them to go after INEC the way they went after IPOB. My but they can see none of them is talking. The animals now, as we made mention, they are baboons. Uh, this, uh, this is real media. Right. Can you hear me? Yeah, you are can the you one breaking. You are the one breaking. I can hear you. Okay, okay. Uh, you, you know, you made mention that the people are animals, and uh, they have finished. Even the, the people that uh, are in charge for the zoo media, they are crying, they are lamenting, they are doing this, this, this. That we have told them, even I challenge them for daily today, that we have finished them what we want to do, they have for a referendum. Thank you, my brother. May God bless you, God God. God bless you, our leader, the director. And bless all I do all over the world. Thank you. He say, bless you too, and keep it on. This is Radio BFR Live presentation. We take a few calls, and of course, uh, uh, wait for the evening broadcast. Can you hear me? Caller from Italy. Good
Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Okay. Good morning, Mazuche Moto. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. My name is Chukwuma. Your, your line Thank is you very um, much. not very clear. You said your name is Mort. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm here. Yes. I hear me right now. Yes, but it's breaking. Go ahead. Let's see how it goes. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm saying is that it has been a very tough moment for our struggle right now because some of our people was uh, unable to hand the brokers of our leader and it was uh, the, the fact of the matter that there's no information he will give us an update before he make that announcement because perhaps that should be the reason why some of us we are unable. But however, whatever his decision is the decision of IPOD. I believe in our leader that he can never, never surrender to this people without a tangible fact, which I know very, very well. And as we trust him that he can never betray the people of IPOD because we are under oath with him. If he does anything contrary to whatever is our expectation that cannot benefit the people of Biafra, I think uh, it's not, I can't do that anyway. But I don't want to, but all I want to say is that I want to make, make a request for the IPOD hierarchy for the upcoming this, uh, general election as we have, as he has called off the uh, bycourt, but the governor and the House of Assembly, House of Senate Assembly in the states in India for land. I think we must boycott those ones, telling those in command in our affairs, especially in the Biafra land, that we control the we the, are the people that own the Biafra land. We I think we should work on that one and make sure that we boycott that one, and they should spend all their money and we conduct another election before we participate in any any form of election in the Biafra land, particularly in Biafra land. Consign the governorship and the um, my, my brother. Uh, I understand. I'm hearing what you're saying, but do you are you listening to radio? Did you listen to our leaders' yeah. broadcast? Yes, of course, I listen yes. to it. Let us let us finish with one, and then when that one comes, there will be clear instruction. Of course, there is already. And yeah, what okay. I am asking our people is to heed the instructions given to them. Very important and not come yeah, to yeah. give us contrary suggestions. Of course, if you want this suggestion, you do it, send it across for consideration. But we have made very important decisions that is very wide known in public domain. And for us to be talking about reversing certain things that are not yet, uh, that the time is not yet ripe for, will not be very strategic for us well okay um, i heard what you said but i just give a, a suggestion because people are very very prepared to record the election if not of the the order our leader gave everybody i'm sure almost this by court could have been 100 uh, percent but uh, they are very very concerned we may coordinate here people we are very very scared when they hear the call off uh, but because they don't know the people, reason people and our were, leader, people were I, very what some of the people were very, very angry because they, they wish if that we could have done, the bicycle could have been done. But we are under command control. Can I, okay. can I, can I so ask you? Should. Can I ask you why? Why were yeah. people not angry when our leader was saying to everyone that there is there are demands sent across to them that if they sign those documents, that they will call off the election. Why didn't people raise objection? At that particular time. Yeah, my, my deputy, I understand what you're saying, but I said it is matter, it's a matter of understanding of people. People, Some people didn't understand it very well. So that is the fact. Uh, but, uh, but I have uh, given explanation to those asking me questions or those sending me message, asking me questions. I have given them clear, uh, uh, I, in some of the brokers uh, did that to them so that they will follow up. But the fact of the matter that many people did not follow up the announcement, that's what I'm saying. So when they uh, had that, the only what they had is that it's, it's 
they thank God. So um, that's the weird questions come about. You know, most of them, you know, sometimes these when I want to speak, he will first of all, I'm not be speaking so so time, just something come out of a question and not many people don't follow up the podcast of leader, so that come on. But I'm trying to I'm I guarantee you that in my own zone there's nothing happen, everybody everything is in no care in all that but uh, what I'm trying the other, the other one I said is uh, out of my own suggestion that our people will be maybe will be reversed over that. Thank you very much. God bless you. Right. Thank you very much. One thing is clear here, my brother. There is no mm. cause for alarm. The interests of IPOB family members and all that their funds are secured. Very important. Mm. And by the okay. time, by the time you see what was done, you will indeed. I'm not very sure you people will be, you know, saying what they are saying. But I know that one of the problems with our people is not listening to instruction. We suggest that our people go and listen to the broadcast of our leader, read the press statements, and also follow this broadcast that we are uh, on now. And you will understand and appreciate what we are saying and what we are doing. And uh, okay. I can confidently say that IPOB five members are in good hands. Okay, um, we hope uh, everything is in you know order. I will hope that in the soon way we still get uh, more information concerning that. That is uh, people. But for me, I don't have any problem with that. I believe I myself nobody, and I have my call. brother. Nobody should have problem with that. Anybody that decides uh. to have problem with it has a different agenda altogether. Let me also say something here. Our people uh. in Italy, our people in Europe, our people outside Biafra land are not voting. That is number one. So I don't even see the reason why anybody should be uh, raising concerns. Second, the right of our people who want to stay at home are secured. The right of those who want to go out to vote or participate in the zoo presidential election are also secured. All the same and in the round. He portrays IPOB as a democratic platform that everybody's concerns are, of course, taken care of. If you don't want to vote, you stay at home. If you want to vote, you go out and vote. For evidence of doubt, this has not also changed yeah. IPOB's position. So what is the problem there? No, I, will, I don't think there's any problem. But what I'm saying is that since yesterday, a lot of complaints come to my doorstep saying that the, uh, the election was called off again. That's what I mean, you know. But our leader said so what, what, any day what, they present, the election any, was any called they off, present so. our, our, they met to our demand, but he call off. There's people that doesn't follow up our leader when I am on Twitter with him. Any day, any day he tweets something, I get it, and I retweet it immediately. So there are people that are not on Twitter with him. So these people so, are the people So do, do you then, who, who's, who fault, who's, fault, whose fault it is, my brother? Whose fault it is? If people don't follow instruction and as a result begin to misfire, is it, is it the leader's problem? Is it your own problem? Is it my own no, problem? No, no, no. It is they not the leader's problem. But plan, not, not, not any other person. Uh, my leader, my deputy, I think that they still have the right to ask questions. And so I'm a coordinator. And then the, question, the questions have been answered over and over that again. Is the point. The, that the, is the, the point. The, the then, answer to their questions are contained in press statements released, are contained in the broadcast by our leader, Mazen Namdekano, are contained Thank in you. the broadcast we are making here. What is the problem yes. of our people? No, I don't understand no, that. You know, I uh, I came to uh, so that you will highlight it a little bit so that you will address the issue so that people listening also some of my comrades listening will also be satisfied to the question I asked and they will, they will be here with me that I have become a uh, to ask because you ask an emission la ebon aboto I the pure and pure and pure so everything did, must be clear did you not, so that's my purpose of did you not hear, question did you not hear the Clips of broadcast of our leader Mas in Nanskan that are repeated here. Did you know? Did you know that some people say that it is not the, our leader? I got on to some people say it's a scam. That is not our leader speaking. Let me, not let me also right let me thing. also tell you if Biafra is restored today, people will still come up and say that Biafra is not restored. Of course, I so do. Why, I do. Why, why I do. would you kill yourself over it? 
No, my, myself particularly, I'm not in any form of worry or any disturbance. I'm okay with any decision the hierarchy of IP will be taken. I know any decision they take is the benefit of the Biafra. But I'm just, I just want to highlight so that you in brokers right now could have addressed it and you have addressed it in a better way that the listener might be satisfied with your response. And they, through the brokers, I'm hearing this morning of our other uh, brokers of this by, uh, call off. Uh, they will be satisfied because they heard it from the appropriate radio, which is Radio Biafra. And um, I am so happy today because they bypassed this election and also they stopped the election. And uh, I want to work those are preparing in Biafra land for this election that should be very careful because now, because the police have stopped 5 million ballots that they printed to come to a uh, cast in Nigeria. And that is why they suspend the election so they can be able to uh, again print another one to come. So we are watching them, and I'm happy that today uh, something tangible is, has met for the Biafra issue. It is all me. combined fear of IPOB and other treacherous conduct of some people that led them to postpone the election. And well, we lose nothing, I tell you. And we yeah, must concentrate. Very important. Thank yeah, you very uh, much. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much. That any option they choose, they lose. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. IPOB will forever be vindicated. As simple as that. This is where really there'll be a final presentation. If you have any question, you come up and ask that question. Not when we have finished, you will come up and start making some cynical comments. That will not be entertained. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Hello, good afternoon from here, from Nigeria. Yeah, good morning from Hello. here. Go ahead. Uh, can I talk to Ruti more from the concern? This is the, the Radio Biafra, but it's not the voice. Okay, you listen to Radio Biafra, but it's not the voice. Whose voice are you hearing then? Hello? Yes, hello. Go ahead and make your contribution. You can see. Una Fukwam. This is really be a further presentation. Let's call on the phone. Good evening. Oh, good morning from here and saying good evening. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Caller on the phone. They are not talking. We will go to another line. Can you hear me now? Hello? Yes. Go ahead, please. I'll move away from the Hello, radio. Good morning. Good morning from here. My, Go ahead. My, the world is listening. Go ahead. My name is... My name is... Uh, uh, I'm calling from Go. Yes, go ahead. Yes, I want to commend you for your work, my brother. Yes, those who are you, talking too. against the land. Those, those who are talking against the land can those who are, have no trust on him. But we had called the Afghan we really Those who are our, talking about it and can, are those who don't trust themselves and who have ulterior yes, motives. Those and who are talking are, against it, that's what I mean. In, they are incapable of redeeming themselves. So, what I, what I have to say is that there's yeah, something that you mentioned yesterday, which I think. You know, there are some people that, that are uh, IPOB members, but are not, they are not registered IPOB member, members. So there are so, there are so many hard calls outside IPOB uh, family. So and I want us to carry them along because those people they can do anything to protect IPOB. Do they are not in the meeting. So I want you to to continue yes, pointing you, you, out. You should if those who are not IPOB family members uh, by registration. Okay. The other, should, on should, the other hand, should, should be able to approach us and let us know that they are part of us. I am talking on the strength yes. of the fact that we know thousands of them out there who are not registered, but they are, of course, identifying with what we are doing. It's not. Of course, of course. So, that's what, that's so what I we mean. don't want the situation whereby people will begin to exploit this avenue. If you are not a registered IPOB family member, you should approach our family units and let them know the reason why you are not registered. Very important. Not when occasion calls, if you say, do you know that I am part of you and I, I don't come to meet you? No. We are talking on the strength of those we know 
that are part and parcel of us, but they, for one reason or the other, they are not registered. If you keep quiet, then you are not with us. So let politicians not come up and some unscrupulous individuals who don't want to support what we are doing here come and talk nonsense. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good morning from here. Yeah, my name, my name is Kine, the pro from Zone Nigeria. Yes, thank you uh, very much. Please, uh, which you uh, which you for, I really appreciate your handwork and the American handwork. So, like yesterday, I was very angry when I heard that uh, the the uh, blockade was called back. But uh, I'm very, very angry. But let us them, let us get the news that is still right from our right thoughts. So I really appreciate. It. My 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 opinion now is that I want everybody that. Maybe it's not IPOD. Even if you are not IPOD, for you to join IPOD. I hear when someone, when somebody is calling now that you have to ask call from IPOD, that which is not IPOD member. Then go to any place close to IPOD, IPOD, uh, uh, and join IPOD. That's simple. Because if you are not IPOD, hello, I'm hearing you. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know why it's cutting off. This person disturbing us on Skype, he shouldn't call again because you have just cost us somebody who is making very important contribution. Can you hear Hello? me? Oh, yeah. the phone? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Yes, my name is Ubuchiku. I come from Obarco in Alani, in Alani, in Yes, go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, yeah, sir. What our leader doing is very good. Maybe I, I am in my place now. I am happy because some of uh, TDP could then give bribe ten thousand naira to come and arrest me as an IPO member. Then even some of them was ashamed when they see me this morning. I am here now. I am talking about it. Imagine I'm the kind of man. Have the song. That I want to say to you. Right, just a minute, just a minute. Where are you calling from now? I am calling from uh, I live in the I live in the province in Obanko, sir. All right, okay, go ahead, please. They are yes, ashamed of themselves. Of course, we have not. Okay, to sir. Lose. I'm going. I'm not going to sing this thing. By all means, go ahead if you want. Okay, sir. Our Madike, we are going for the promised land. Oh, we are going for the promised land. Our Madike, we are going for the promised land. Oh, we are going. I got la li chiku kuira ilangwa. I got la li chiku kuira ilangwa. Uche mofo. I got la li chiku kuira ilangwa. I got. I got la. I got la li chiku kuira ilangwa. I got la. I got la na 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 I got la I got la If I will say the thing reach for me, sir. I am very happy, sir, for what our leader doing. I thank you, sir. Thank you very much and God bless you. This is really a beautiful like presentation. We are moving forward, most like God remains in charge. We are moving forward, the most like God. We always direct the affairs of the hardcore decadent beer fans around the world. There are some APC hooligans who are on our platform on Facebook. By their comments, you will know them. We don't recognize you, and you should go to where you belong. Very important. Our people know their own people. And IPOB remains unstoppable. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Yeah. Welcome yeah, to the program. I'm bless you, Mazu Temepo. Indeed, you are a man. I'm bless your wife. Bless your family. God bless you too. I'm bless all of you. I heard from Abadje. Abadje, a one of the local government in Moses, in all the prisons. I'm calling from Mokosi. In all the prisons, there are some land. My brother, the Zulu is shaking. They are spread of IPOD. They say that that IPOD, we are terrorists. 
we are miscreants. We are what? Oh, but nah, they are crying. Even in their social media, through social media, so don't even it's a fancy be a cry. All the people that called us, like Tolo Tambeki, who called us, who called us a uh, 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 motor We we we, we told them that we rig this election. We told them they yes. will read this election, yes. and the best thing yes. is to stand against the system. And yes. they embark yes. on propaganda. Our leaders say they will be killing themselves, their fry is going. And I've been taking, taking this opportunity to, to, to tell our brothers and sisters the hardcore their plan, the hardcore IPOP family meeting, not the support to us, all the, the people who want to in Nigeria, want to in Biafra, they want to go to Biafra. But they are still looking eye for the cucumber in Egypt. No. But I want to tell our brothers and sisters, let us march in. Yes, I'm, the price is already here. My brothers, you know that they are still adopting our brothers and sisters. Before our director call off, call off a uh, 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 divine caution of election, there are our brothers in our family unit who go and post poster in, uh, in Obosi. They adopted them and keep them for police station. Can you take all of them, take the two of them to... Uh, 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 now they are dog they are, uh, our brothers there. Now that thing they they used to arrest our brothers because they are putting poster. Is it not what they do today? They take their hand and boycott their election again. Now let them release that our brother. That our brother, his name is Sinedu. What, what you have Sinedu to do, Nadif. my brother, yes. can you listen? Yes. Just uh, hold yes, on, you, you will continue. What you people yes, need to do is to report this to our legal team and our welfare team and make sure that accurate record is taken of that our brother. He must come back to us in safety. Go ahead yeah. and say what you're saying. Yes, my brother, we have done that. I have sent the name to our, our uh, local government and to our uh, state. In their heart, they are forwarded to our, our local team. But I want to report it. In Israel, the police station is where they're dumping. By ordinary security men, ordinary vigilantes that see our brother with poster, take the, the two brothers to police custody, custody. And the man in the police station there is an innocent man. But he shall not be well with them. Biafra is here because Biafra is the kingdom of God on earth. Our director told us that this is the kingdom of God that the way should pray. And nobody will stop it. They are seeing it. In fact, the Jew is God. And the Nigeria, and Nigeria must die. And Nigeria was deleted because they are worth a lot of innocent source of Jaffa. It shall not be well with them. My brother, let's go gather and bless you. God bless you, my brother. Bless you too, and we will always remain victorious. The number to call is plus four four seven four zero five nine six four one four six plus four four seven four zero five nine six four one four six. We are on Skype, Skype, and this will be a for six. Can you hear me? Call our messenger, can you hear me? Good morning. Yes, I can hear you. Good morning from Good here. Welcome to the program. Thank you, my deputy leader. And thank you, Mazina Mdekanu. The Lord took us the Tabiama is using you people wonderfully. We are winning the war. And we are setting an agenda for the zoo. They are following. They have no choice. Because Biafra is a spirit. And the spirit of Biafra is hovering over the land for our restoration. And no man can stop it. No demon can stop it. No power can stop it. We are almost gone from Nigeria. And I give glory to Chukwo Kitabiyama for you people. The Lord will continue to keep you. We continue to strengthen you. We protect you people until Biafra is fully restored. We all shall enjoy Biafra. In the name of Chukwo Kikabiyama. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. Thank you very much. And God bless. 
evangelist who's a kumoki ke one of us our mother doing what is unimaginable in history in propagating this gospel of restoration we are moving forward can you hear me call on the phone good morning from here welcome to Hello. the program good afternoon from from rafra land thank Mother, you very much teacher before i am thanking you people very much this morning my name is idochuku imo i am calling from igwacha here i am in azua bia zone one unit two Yes, can I confirm? I uh, is the radio on because somebody sent me a message and say our FM is not talking in Igbo. So I don't know what uh, that means. Is yes. that correct? I, my 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 brother, please you have to tell them because they are not performing well in that radio. Anybody that is sitting on that radio must sit firm and sit. Why? So that because that radio is a source of our power. So what you're saying it's now is, to, uh, are you are you calling, confirming? Can I can I are you confirming that our FM station in Igbocha is not up and running? Is right, that correct? Right now it's not running because I am calling from my H H D H D this thing now. I am using it in my is, room. That's is why our I'm satellite about is now. our satellite on? Is the satellite on? Is the satellite is on. The satellite is on. Then the problem is from you go to directly, not for months. Yes, I am calling direct from you go to right now. Direct from you go to. Yes. Go Hello. Ahead. Go ahead. I'm saying to you that the problem is not from here. The problem is from you go to relay station. So our people there must yes. be very, very. Yes. That is that. That is uh, that is true. That is true. Do the need for. Let them be careful and know what to do about it. My bro, my dear brother, what our leader is doing since day four yesterday. I yesterday I had this news. I am jubilating. My family is jubilating because what our leader is doing is shaking the whole world. Our leader is the only man that can shake the whole world. My duty, my for God, we bless you people. In any way that you people are, the heavenly bless Father, you we protect you people. And you too. I am thanking you people so much because the zoo is crumbling. It's crumbling. Today they say that we should, they should come and vote. They have known that the, the vote will not take. They, 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 they cancel it. And the, we, I am thanking you people because the pressure you people are giving to Nigeria is so much weight to them. They cannot carry it again. And the time that the Biafra will go has come. I am blessing you, you people see, today. You Let God in heaven you. protect you people. Protect right. Mars. Eh? Protect all our principal officers. You protect see. every Biafra. Because they have come to stand again. The Felicians we see today, we shall see them no more. Isi, isi. The hour has come that we shall take our 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 right because there is nobody that we have food in his father's house that will not take the father's food and eat the food that we have. Another people is eating our food. Let anybody that has ear here, and any man that gets sense, let him know that. This is the only time, the only time that we have to go. No other time. I am thanking you people. May the gods of heaven bless you people. Keep you people. And you too. Keep on pushing the throne because the thing, it has done. It has done. I am happy today. May God bless you people. Bless you too. Thank you very much. And uh, keep it on. What else can I say? We will have to take temporary... Uh, and back on temporary interludes, we will take a break and, of course, come back at some point. Uh, we want to reiterate, we want to assure every IPB family member that their future is secured 
and we urge you to remain resolute, to remain focused, to remain more than ever before tenacious, because victory is near. Our decision to call off the boycott was predicated on the fact that the demands before those who are asking us to, boy, uh, to lift up the boycott was acceded and it is not ethical, it is not appropriate for us to make that public. It would have been made public if they did not accede to it. That would have been yesterday, like our leader Mazin Nandu can say it. And we are asking those who are castigating IPOB, including those who are saying now the country is a scammer, IPOB is fraud and all that. Go and fight INEC or Bizu called Nigeria where you belong. Go and attack them. All the way IPOB is coasting to victory. We are vindicated. The zoo electoral electro system is fraudulent and it's a sham. And that has not changed our position on the status quo. On the other hand, we have, of course, listened to opinions far and wide and have extended hands of fellowship to all those who, despite all the fraudulent activities going on in the zoo called Nigeria, still want to go ahead and participate in the zoo election. We have given you that opportunity to do so. At the same time, those who decide not to go, but to sit at home, are of course welcome to do so as well. At the end of the day, the boycotting of the presidential election of the zoo called Nigeria is no longer an official position of IPOB, but it is now firmly rooted in individual decisions. It is now left for you to decide whether to vote or to participate or not to participate. What else can I say? Our leader, Mazen Lam, kind of has said it all. Listen to the broadcast that he has made over the past two weeks. Also listen to the broadcast that we have made this morning and that of yesterday and read the press statement. If after all this you don't yet on the you don't still understand what issues are then means that there is problem somewhere. All the same, IPOB family members must be proud of themselves, but be proud of the agreement that they have made with the Most High God, that Biafra be restored in their lifetime. You must pat yourselves in the back, but we also have to remind ourselves that the journey has just begun, and that we have enormous responsibilities on our shoulders. And you know what? We cannot shy away from it. What else can I say? We thank the Most High God for having made it possible for us to have congregated this morning. We also appreciate you all for having come together to rub minds together. It is time to go. We continue to implore the Most High God to continue to renew us, continue to revive us. And more importantly, may it give us every enablement to restore Biafra. For me, from here, this has been Chairman 4 at this particular point in time, temporary signing off. Thank you very much, and God bless. If you feel what we are passing through in Nigeria is unacceptable, then we must boycott the presidential elections on the 16th of February. The whole world is watching. And for those who may argue that our boycott will return to build to power, should be guided by our simple demand. If you want us to vote, then you must address the conditions we have set out before you. All of you, it's not sure. What makes you think that I and Namdekan will ask this very wonderful army of heaven, IPOB, to vote in 2019 with nothing? I gave them my conditions, if they don't accede to my demands or published on Friday, that the world may know what we are asking for. If they sign it, then I'll call off the boycott.
they don't sign it, we proceed full steam ahead. Because our priority is Biafra, nothing more, nothing less. I'm not asking for anything else in life. All I want to see is Biafra. After that, then I can die. Our determination to boycott the elections on the 16th of February is sacrosanct. And as I said before, and I will continue to say it, if our demands are met, I will come on Radio Biafra and tell the whole world about it. As simple as that. If not, we'll boycott. If our demands are met, I will come on Radio Biafra and tell the whole world about it. As simple as that. If not, we'll boycott. They wanted our activities to be controlled by politicians, but I said no. That's why they are gossiping all over the place. He doesn't keep the agreement. Yes, I don't. Because you cannot control IPOB. I'm over here. Who are you? Do you know what IPOB stands for? Do you know what IPOB is? Around the whole world, they cannot control us. Their friends must understand what we are facing on a daily basis and should be prepared to follow instructions as given. One after the other. Here in IPOB, you do what you're told to do and you will see the positive results in less than no time. Do you know what it means for a whole country to plan an operation nationwide because of a group of people? That is how strong IPOB is. Some of you don't know this. We are the only people they are afraid of. Only IPOB with no other human being. Radio Biafra. Live! Radio Biafra.